Holy flippin' moly, Ando! Who is this Pokemon? I've never heard of him before. I don't know what's him opening. What the heck is that thing? I know you're all thinking that, and don't don't deny you're not thinking that, because what happened, right? This Pokemon was in the original, I think it was Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, and it wasn't meant to be shown until a couple months ago, but as soon as the game came out, people hacked into the game, they found out this is a Pokemon, and then, like, they announced him officially two months ago, and nobody cared. They're like, okay, we know it's a Pokemon, big deal. We need a hashtag pray for flippin' Volcanion right now, because this poor dude... Nobody knows who he is, and if they do, they're like, oh, I've sinned already. I tried so hard and got so far. But anyway, guys, that's my love for him for today. Hashtag pray for Volcanion. Hopefully he's doing alright. He looks pretty happy. No, he doesn't. He looks pretty grumpy on the tin there. But you know what? Hopefully that grumpiness turns into amazing pools, because this is the final one of the trio tins, which uh, we've opened every single one. So if you haven't seen any of those, I'll leave an annotation right below the face game. You go check it out. We've got the incredible barcode, the three different Pokemon, but can the final 10 lead to fantastic pulls? Have your fingers crossed, but let's crack this bad boy open. Holy mother duck, it better not be all regular res again, or I'm like, I'm out of here. So I know everyone's like, Ando, all right, we've already seen this Pokemon as an EX, as a dual type before, and I'm really surprised they literally didn't do anything else. They gave us pretty much the same card we've already seen as a promo card. Now, I'm pretty sure, like, I can guarantee you this wasn't English, wasn't it? It wasn't just in Japanese. And this is also really weird. The HP thing is, like, in a different font. Now, I got this officially. It's 100% real. I'm no doubt it's not fake. But, like, that's the same text that the fake cards use. It's really weird. I don't know why they did that. I don't know. I'm getting a bit of a weird feeling from this tin already. I, I mean, like, if it's a promo card situation, it's already, like, I probably wouldn't buy this tin. But then again, every sort of promo card that we've unboxed in these tins have been pretty average, except the Pikachu, that was pretty baller. Um, but yeah, that's the whole sort of promo card there, definitely the Comic Con section below, what do you think of it, is it any good? But, I'm hoping right now, the boost packs right there can make up for the lack of a promo card. But without further ado, let's crack into this bad boy of a... Oh dear, it's another Primal Clash situation, oh gosh, I don't know why they... They literally go back in the archives and they're like, you know what? What's the most old school booster that no one really cares about anymore and let's put it in the set? I don't know, Primal Clash? Genius idea, Johnny. Chuck it in there. <laughs> and that's pretty much how they come up. But you know what? It's a good throwback Thursday. It does uh, take us back to our roots, back when we're unboxing these booster boxes. And we do get these half hearts. But I'm getting the feeling we're doubling up on a lot of these cards and we've only opened like three of the boosters. We'll get a Torchic, a Hippopotamus, we'll get a Surskit, and then our reverse is none other than a Bibarel. And the final card is none other than another half art. This is exactly how yesterday's tin went, so I'm a bit nervous right now. Metacharm half art, it's pretty cool. Artwork's pretty sick. We've seen it before. Put it to the side. Ancient Origins time. Now, hopefully we can either get... Oh, what do you reckon? Tyranda Full Art? That'd be like gangster as heck. Oh, the Hooper. I forgot about the Hooper. Okay, fingers crossed. Hooper Full Art. Have you... I don't know if you can remember... It's literally every colour of the rainbow as one, like, full art card. And I don't think we ever pulled it. I think we got an email on Monday, and I was like, that is hype. But if we pulled that one, that'd be incredible. We'll get an Oddish. Come on, last tin magic, surely. A Ralts. Golurk. We get a Skeptile Spirit Link, followed up by... Regular Rare Metagross. No, flipping. this can't be right. Steam Siege, Golden Avoltal Pack. Let's bust this one open. Oh, go oh gosh, that's really, really sucked. Let's get the one open from the bottom. What the... Are these tins really that bad? Like, surely not. Surely they... I don't know, but the way they do it all the time. I'm so sick of... Pokemon always give us, like... I don't know. They give us fantastic pulls in the Elite Trainer box. All these other products, you know, pretty good. Then when it comes to the tins, they're like, you know what? Have all regular rares. And one Mega. Like, all we've pulled through, like, three tins so far is Mega. I'm getting pretty grumpy. <laughs> We're gonna sneeze all. A lit low. A greedy dice. And then. No! No! Don't! Oh! It's a regular error again. Have a look. And I know you're thinking, Ando, why are you getting so grumpy about this? It's pretty much because I these tins like, cost about $45 Australian. So all up, I've paid like 150 bucks, I think, for these tins. And we're getting average balls. But you know what? Back in the day, if we pulled a regular air, it's all good, it's all good the hood. 
but this is our final flipping booster, a Steam Siege. Let's crack this one open. Everyone, oh, do stretches. Let's do this one. All right, look at this. The same Pokemon, it's the mascot of the tins. Surely we're gonna get something. Steam Siege, let's bust it open. You know, it'd be funny. <laughs> we get a Volcanion EX if we get the same card as the uh, as the regular rare right here. Three from the back, swing it right rounds. Bravery, do us proud, bro. We'll get a D what? Claw Fossil, Nose Pass, a Litlo, Dino, Hop Hip. Everyone pray to Arceus right now. We're gonna reverse Bravery and then, oh my dude! What? And pretty much ever since that EX tin opening, we've never seen Andor again. We've got an ad on the back of a milk carton, but that still hasn't got any answers. So if you've seen Ando on the street or walking around, please call your local Amphros. Thank you.